welcome to Rome Total War Egypt part 15 sexy battles Jim here okay we're gonna take a quick look at um, some of the disposition and this is kind of funny the age of my commander he made 74 so far and our financial reports here are pretty good the reason I'm going here is to take a look at the city report and it says um, I don't need 50 cities to win I don't quite get it um, hmm. This happened to me in the Parthenon campaign, too. I don't quite get it. Maybe the computer likes me or something. I thought I'm supposed to have 50 to win. Anyway, I'm back to the game here. We'll figure this out later. <laughs> it's kind of strange, though. Okay, see, so here we've got, um... Our three main cities are back to... Well, they're almost under control. They we're getting a little bit out of control there. I'm still not making any money here for some reason. Probably the wrong builds or what have you. Um, but we're building everything we can. We have an, uh, a diplomat over here in my territory, so I'm going to either try to assassinate him or buy him. So we're going to try to bribe him off here and bring him over to my team, and we'll use him later. Over here by Jerusalem, we're still having some trouble um, with the disposition of the city. They don't seem to be too happy. They're not rebelling, but they're not green. Okay, we're, like I said, just moving some stuff around here. You can take a look at how I'm doing things. I built some pretty incredible monuments so far, too. I should point those out eventually. Something along the lines of a temple city or a, um, something like that. I'll, like I said, I'll, I'll get around to pointing that out sometime soon. I'm building those all over the place. Uh, real big monuments and um, estates, things like that, to, to uh, try to improve the city's uh, production. But here I'm still having trouble in Jerusalem. Boy, you sure are giving me a problem. I have to figure this out. Okay, uh, we'll get around to that too. Lots of little details to keep track of. And here we have the Romans boiling out of one of their towns here to attack me. The odds are in my favor, but not incredibly. So we're going to go ahead and uh, manage this fight on the, on the battlefield. Unless I suffer some sort of a horrible auto-manage um, defeat. So here's what our enemy looks like. Their troops are, they've been under siege for a little while, so they're kind of beat up, but they're not in, in too bad a shape. And these guys are ra rather formidable, so we'll see how they do. No auto-fight, and here we go. And so since we're not going to pause, we're going to try to get these spearmen over here to the center of the battlefield, into the middle. And we'll, um, we should move our chariots over to the right. I think I'll end up moving all my cavalry over to the right, too, but uh, for right now, uh, <laughs> I'm going to shift everybody over here and try to just reinforce the center. Get these guys um, to drop these rams or whatever the hell they're carrying here. And it looks like the enemy's starting to come out of the main gate there. I don't want to get too close to the walls because they're um, heavily fortified with archer towers. And they'll just start to pick you apart if you get too close to them. Give you real terrible damage. So we're going to stay out here and let the enemy come out and play. I don't want to give them the advantage of having um, those towers shoot at me while I'm uh, uh, too close to them. So we're just going to, like I said, we're going to stay out here and allow the enemy to um, advance on my troops. I still haven't quite got the drag and drop uh, stuff right yet because my keyboard isn't set up. Uh, I'm using a, an old arcade machine uh, retrofitted to play games on and uh, I run all my other games here in, in simulations and the keyboard is over here to the, to the right so it's not quite convenient enough to hit all the, the um, proper keys. So until I get it set up I'll have to deal with it like this. It's not too bad though. We'll get everybody set up here. Uh, the enemy's uh, forming up there by the main gate. And we're going to move our javelin men over here to the left. I'd like to get my archers and anybody who's, um, any kind of melee troops off to the left of the enemy, where their shields are not. They carry their shields on their left, so if you attack them from your left, you can hit their exposed flank. Anyway, here comes the enemy right down the center of the field to attack me. Looks like, uh, yeah. Calvary's forming up uh, over here on the right. We're taking some pretty good damage here from my javelin men, my melee troops. And we're going to go ahead and charge right forward here and try to get them. We have some pretty good cavalry. These guys attack uh, this Roman unit right here.
side here. And looks like we wiped out one of their generals or commanders. And their cavalry starting to break apart. Looks like their entire right flank is starting to collapse. That's good. But we're not going to be too impetuous. We're just going to chase them around a little bit here and then retreat back toward our main line. So I'm going to be a little bit slow and methodical here, folks, so bear with me. I'm going to let the enemy charge several times and burn themselves out and incur as much damage as um, they can on the way in. That way I'll keep my casualties to a minimum and maximize theirs. So this may take just a little bit of time. I'm not in no big, great rush to win this. Okay, a little cavalry charge here into the center, but it's kind of piddling. Really nothing to it. And they're coming on penny packets here one at a time, so it should be easy to defeat them in detail. You see we're getting a lot of good hits with our javelin our javelin men over here to the left. And like I said earlier, the reason I place my archers and javelin units more or less to the left of the battlefield is to try to expose their flank. Okay, they're retreating back toward the main gate. They have to retreat all the way to the center of town, and then they'll reform and come back out, and they, it kind of burns them out because they, they have a tendency to try to run every now and then, and they'll get real tired back and forth, back and forth. And so as long as I sit here, my troops are nice and fresh. I don't have to worry about um, casualties, and like I said earlier, worry about those uh, archer units on the wall, the towers. And again, I have to get this drag and drop pick, um, put together so I can do this a little more efficiently. Okay, we'll take a look out here on the battlefield, see what the enemy looks like up close. Here they come charging again. See, this is what I'm talking about. They'll go and reform, and they'll charge back out here, and they're, they're getting quite tired. I'm sure these guys are burning out by now. Yeah, they're already losing it. Taking a lot of javelin hits, and then turning around and fleeing again. Okay, this is going to go on back and forth for a while, it looks like. They'll reform, come out, and get driven off. And so, I guess what I'll do is... Um, eventually move my archers and javelin guys a little farther over here to the left of the battlefield. And I'll do that in a couple of minutes, I guess. I'm going to get these guys out of here. Anybody who runs my um, melee units, when they run out of ammunition, you don't want them up in the front line. <coughs> okay, here comes another line of uh, enemy troops. Here. What the hell we got here? What the heck do we have here? Excuse me. Uh, Pila tossers or javelin guys. Are these guys within range? Oh my, I let them walk right up and throw a volley at me. Look, look at that. Oh, that's too much talking, not enough action. Uh -huh. You're going to complacently sit back here, eh? Okay, well, I guess I'll go chase these guys off. Too close to the walls. We're gonna have to turn around here. Okay, looks like another cavalry unit has come out the um, out of the right-hand side over here of the uh, enemy town. They seem to be just walking, so we're not going to really worry about them. We'll group everybody over here, our um, cavalry guys over here into a group on our right. <coughs> really looks like it's getting kind of a uh, slow, slow down a bit here. I don't see too much activity from the enemy. If it continues to get slower and slower like this, if they don't do anything, we're going to go ahead and fast forward toward the end and see what the uh, machine says. I don't think um, no matter what happens, if it's a, a win or a draw or what, whatever, it can't be a loss. The enemy troops have to surrender and I'll destroy the town, well, destroy the um, occupants and occupy the place. 
Okay, there's some some activity here. Not really nothing to speak of. Okay, we're gonna move the, our remaining javelin guys up for the the um, left hand side of the battlefield here. These guys still have a significant amount of ammunition left, so we'll use them to paste anybody who wants to come out the main gate. Reposition the cavalry over there on the left and see if we can get our archer units um, more or less over here. Our, you know, our cavalry on the right and our archer units on the left. Yeah, this is slowed down to just about a crawl here, so um, I think pretty soon we're going to go ahead and um, either fast forward to the end, maybe I'll wait for another minute or so and see if any more any troops pop out for another counterattack. But um, I guess not, nah. Here we go, let's draw. And um, the enemy is destroyed. Draw or not. Here we go, we'll go ahead and kill them all off and take a look at the end of turn report. That was a rather uh, mm -hmm. tedious battle. And so that's the way I like to fight these, where I have the advantage. I like it in my um, troops just totally annihilated. My faction leader finally died. He was 74. He made quite a distance. That's why I keep um, generals that they offer me in faction or, um, members and whatnot. Of family, because you never know how long they may live. They can really come in handy. That's just personal preference. Okay, here we go to construction report. Looks pretty good. We're building some pretty big temples, and I think a temple city is what I have in mind. Something like that. And um, some estates and things. Really uh, large structures are coming up. <coughs> well, you see here the end of turn report, and next turn, but um, the uh, f the cities here, this is kind of crazy, I, I'm supposed to have 50 when I win, it says here, what, 45? I don't quite get it. I've talked to Biscuits about this, he, sh he should know. Okay, well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Please comment and rate and sub, if you would. I'd appreciate a few subs. You guys have a good day and a good week, and uh, enjoy yourselves. And we'll see you for the next uh, next battle. I guess it'll be turn 16 coming up. Okay. Have a good one, guys.